Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, my name is Hafiza binti Abdullah Elias Ali. I'm from Department of Design and Visual Communication, Polytechnic Tuanku Said Sirajuddin, Perlis, Malaysia. Today I will present the title of my studies entitled UI Design of E-Education Tool Educom Board Game Repository. This study is a research in the form of applied research where it is explained the process of developing UI design for the medium fidelity application called Educom Board Game Repository. This research consists of three researchers, including of myself as team leaders and web designer, Mr. Muhammad Amiruddin B. Rosli as storyboard artist and designer, and Mr. Muhammad Kamaru Arifin Muhammad Azmi as writer and UI tester. This presentation will emphasize the table of content included introduction, related works, the method of studies, finding and discussion, and the conclusion of the research. Educom Board Game Repository is one project that store and share the collection of board game design and provide a dynamic question repository using a hybrid application development concept. This project can connect theory and knowledge by adding innovation, diversity, and applying game as educational tools. This research will further explain how the interface development process starts from UI planning to the UI design process for medium fidelity of Educom. User interface is very important and play an essential role in increasing the usage rate of any application or website. For this research, this paper will aim to identify the requirement for a medium fidelity prototype of Educom and to discuss the interface development process of Educom Board Game Repository. In order to answer the aim of research, we identify the several research problems, which are the teaching and learning process is conducted using traditional approach such as lecturer-centered, student-centered, face-to-face and discussion. The approach is tedious and does not encourage students to engage in the subject voluntarily and with enjoyment. There are some issues before this research is carried out based on previous literature. The first issues are the traditional teaching and learning can be difficult to attract student attention. Based on Hart et al. 2020, the traditional teaching and learning do not motivate students to interact willingly and with fun. The other issues are the evolution of technology has rendered traditional teaching and learning obsolete in a few situations. And the last issues are the fewer platform for creating simple and user-friendly board games. Next part is focus on the method of study. This research uses the rapid application development RAD methodology to complete the project. RAD has been utilized as a guide for project development. This method permits immediate implementation of any completed subsystem in the operational environment. RAD method is used to complete the process of Educom UI development. It consists of four phases, namely requirement planning, user design, the construction phase, and cut over. And the first and the second phase in RAD method are very important 
for UI development. This method is a way to create a software quickly and efficiently. The important part in this research is finding and discussion. And for this research, it will focus on the conceptual design of EDUCOM, functional decomposition diagram FDD, the development of EDUCOMs, and the UI design development process. The early stage of the design process for the conceptual design of EDUCOM start with UI and functionality study and then continue with UI planning using just in mind. Before UI planning phase is started, there are three system or existing system in the market that compare that show in table one. An interface study was carried out where three existing projects were compared, namely Tabletopia, Storyboard Dead, and Board Game Maker. Based, of, based on the three application, an interface design for Educom was produced. The next part of planning user interface is Functional Decomposition Diagram, FDD. FDD will provide the structure for EDUCOM component or modules consists of function, activities, and the process of the interface. Based on the figure, the EDUCOM board game repository consists of four main functions. The first function are 1.0 to manage board game design, 2.0 to manage the user where the user consists of teachers or designer, and 3.0 to create the question bank, and the last function are 4.0 to manage sharing limitation for board games design. After completing the Functional Decomposition Diagram, FDD, we will start the UI development of EDUCOM. We start with the wireframe of the interface that focus on the typography, the hue, the composition, and the white space arrangement that are used to design the concept of the prototype interface. Based on the wireframe, the medium fidelity prototype will be developed starting with the main page and then turn to the other's user interface design such as login and other function that based on FDD diagrams. For UI design development for this research include two types of design. The first is the front-end interface and the second is the back-end interface. Front-end interface, we focus on the teacher's menu to choose and download a board game templates and the back-end interface focus on the designer and administrator function that store the board game design template and manage the application. First figure and the second figure show the back end interface and the front end interface of medium fidelity UI design of EDUCOM. The UI design development phase will help designer to manage and design the interface properly. The designer will comprehend and plan the UI flows for the project functionality. This research of EDUCOM is designed using the bootstrap frameworks. Finally, we next to final part of this research, a conclusion part. This study also compares some existing system by the simple system module category and its feature. This part will help designer to identify the function of the interface.
and then the educum consists of two types of UI design, namely the front end and back end interface. And lastly, based on the result, the developer will use to create a good interaction design product and can distribute it to end users to test its usability and collect the feedback. Lastly, a good planning of interface will produce a good and user-friendly project. I think that's all from myself. Thank you.